Uh, ever wondered how a common currency among BRICS nations might reshape the global economic landscape? Let's take a moment to consider the BRICS R5 project. This groundbreaking initiative proposes a shared currency among the powerhouse nations of the original BRICS members prior to expansion. As we speak, the anticipation builds with the proposals set to feature on the agenda at one of the upcoming BRICS summits. Key figures in the economic world are weighing in, adding depth and nuance to the conversation surrounding this ambitious project. The potential impact of the R5 currency is vast, with the possibility to influence the global economy. It's a thrilling prospect, one that could alter the way how nations might do international trade. Could the R5 project be the jolt the world needs? We're about to delve deeper into this fascinating topic, so stick around as the story of this potential global game-changer unfolds. With 60% of global reserves in dollar-denominated assets, the call for a feasible alternative is loud and clear. And this is where the BRICS R5 project steps onto the stage. However, the path to a new world currency is not without its skeptics. One such voice of caution belongs to Jim O'Neill, a key figure in the BRIC concept. O'Neill's skepticism is rooted in the complexities of shifting the global economic balance, a task that is vast and intricate. But while the task is monumental, the BRICS nations are not without a plan. Enter Dr. Paolo Nogueira Batista, whose insights provide a framework for this ambitious initiative. Batista emphasizes the initial stage of R5, not as a fully-fledged currency, but as an accounting unit. This pragmatic approach allows for a gradual introduction of the new currency, mitigating potential economic shocks while paving the way for the future. The proposed framework for the R5 is based on a currency basket's composition reflecting the economic weight of each BRICS nation. The weightage is not uniform, but rather reflects the relative economic strength of each nation. For instance, the Chinese Yuan, with its large economy, carries a significant 40% weight. The Indian Rupee, another heavyweight, holds a 25% stake. The remaining weight is distributed among the remaining BRICS nations, creating a balanced mix that mirrors the collective economic strength of these emerging economies. This framework solution, as proposed by Batista, provides a practical path towards the realization of the R5. It addresses the feasibility hurdle head-on, proposing a gradual transition that acknowledges the complexities of the task while maintaining a steady eye on the ultimate goal, a common BRICS currency. As we contemplate the feasibility of this venture, let's explore how R5 might work as a digital means of payment. The journey to a new currency is complex and challenging, but with a clear framework and a shared vision, the BRICS nations are could redefine the global economic landscape. Imagine a digital currency running parallel to national currencies. Can't imagine it? Well, once again, Dr. Paolo Nogueira Batista envisions the proposed currency in a digital format. This isn't a far-fetched concept, considering the rapid advancements in financial technology and the increasing adoption of the digital currencies globally. In Batista's view, the R5 could potentially serve a dual role. First, as a savings currency for the BRICS nations, providing a stable and secure store of value. Secondly, as a reserve currency, offering a viable alternative to the dominance of the dollar, which currently holds around 60% of global reserves. The proposed digital nature of R5 would allow it to run parallel to national currencies, thus mitigating the risk of destabilizing national economies. It's a balance between the physical and the digital, the national and the international. But how can this ambitious vision be realized? Batista suggests the creation of a group of experts. This team would be tasked with the intricate process of currency creation, ensuring that the R5 is designed to meet the unique needs and challenges of the BRICS nations. As we navigate the digital age, could R5 be the digital currency that reshapes the economic landscape? It's a question that might stick around for the next decade for economists to forever argue. Now, it's over to you. What do you think about the BRICS R5 project? Do you think the BRICS members could agree on some sort of shared currency? Let me know below. Drop a pineapple emoji in the comments section to let me know you made it to the end. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this topic and subscribe for more deep dives into transformative economic initiatives. Otherwise, take care. Bye.